So looking back on the things that you identify with as a mistake along the path of progress, remember that anything that you do, my friends, if you do it from a place of alignment, takes you exactly to those things that are designed to go wrong to help you learn to experience something unique in this life. You enter into the thing that is out of integrity and out of alignment. It can lead to all kinds of chaos and confusion, pain and suffering that maybe doesn't contribute to the sum totality of what you were designed to live or designed to be. And we are, when we are off track and off path and off purpose, our life is colored by the dissonance of the frequencies that are not in alignment with true self, frustration, anger, bitterness, disappointment, rage, anything that you feel in your body that is against its true nature, its higher self, its higher being, its higher belonging. All of us have a belonging, a belonging to be at one with the unity of the self. And those of you with an undefined G center, or like me with an unconsciously defined G-center, you're wandering around this life looking for love, identity, and direction outside of yourself, looking for perhaps acceptance outside of yourself. When at this age, my friends, I'm 44, and about to hit your honest opposition, I can tell you from experience that love does not begin outside oneself. I've been on the other side of the spectrum trying to love someone who doesn't love themselves and you cannot love someone enough to help them love themselves it never works it has to start that seed has to be planted from within it has to grow in the fertile soil of your true nature your truest nature can be aligned if you follow what is inherently correct for you as far as your uniqueness, your design, your purity of the essence of the spirit that arises from within the self. That spirit that arises from within the self that is sweetness of success, that spirit that arises from the self that is the satisfaction of the life lived for oneself. And that's sweetness that arises from within that is the peace, the peace of you living your life in full clarity of your impact, that sweetness that arises from within, that is the essence of the nature of surprise, that is the delight and awe and wonderment of being cosmically connected up to totality. Spirit is something that all of us intrinsically know. It is our birthright. Each of you has your own unique spirit, your essence, the arising of the true nature of your own enthusiasm. If you can be connected to the mutation of your own individualistic self, this one I'm pointing at is the mutation the transit is bringing. This is part of me talking to you right now, my 48s in Pluto, resonant with the 48s, the Mars now expressing to you my enthusiasm for living through the transit. This is my enthusiasm of identifying with what human design can do for you. As I sit here talking to you, my eyes closed, my body rocking, tears pouring out of my eyes. All I can do is be able to just give you whatever sense of, of knowing that I can contribute in my own awareness, in this growth, in this life, in this consciousness that is an experiment of living in this form the transmission of that which I am to you, each and every one, individually, you, I love you, in whatever way, shape, or form you can accept, just for being you, not for having to be my student or do anything for me, but just for being you. The you that is unique, the you that is a freak, the you that is so precious and so vulnerable and so utterly unseen. No one of us has ever been seen before on this planet. Can you tell? Have you seen? Do you know? Can you hear me? You, you need to be you and I can only be I and we are each patterns in this unique expression, living once, this one precious body, this one precious life, this one precious form. This form is your authority, my friends, and Ra has given us a gift of being able to dismantle the illusions of the Maya to show us the way 
and in our own way, discover the uniqueness of what it is to be us. Isn't it a gift? Yes, my friends. Thank you so much for listening, for attuning to whatever it is that comes out of me in this life, in this form. I find it easier to not worry about what I'm being seen like. As <laughs> Now there's snot coming out of my nose, pardon me. <sighs> In order to be myself, this emotional being that I am in this moment, in this time, in space, and reality of being present to this now and witnessing the pattern as it flows through me, none of us can be anything but what we are in our translations of what it is to be eternal consciousness in a form. And as each of you flow through your day, I want to wish you namaste.